Data subtotal is one of Excel's best and most commonly used features. In conjunction with the sort command, we can use data subtotal to make quick work of summing large data ranges. For example, in this case, we'll sort the data first by region, and then use data subtotal to sum the sales amounts at each change in region. Notice that Excel quickly summed almost 3,000 rows of data into subtotals at the region level. While the previous example certainly demonstrates the strength of data subtotal, there are a few potential weaknesses. One such weakness lies potentially when summing daily data. In this instance, we would like to get a subtotal by month, yet we see the source data is arranged in a daily format. Executing a data subtotal command on this data really doesn't do us very much good when we say, at each change in date, give us a sum of the amount and click OK. We find that the subtotal process created a subtotal for each and every date, not each and every month, which is the desired effect. Fortunately, there's a pretty easy solution to this problem, and it simply involves formatting the data a little bit differently than the current date format. Having sorted the data in column A, we'll next select the data and change the data format. From the traditional month, day, year format into a format that shows month and year only. With that format in place, we're now ready to begin the process of subtotaling the data. Issuing the data subtotal command, instructing Excel at each change in date, we would like to get a sum of the amount, click OK, and now Excel has subtotaled the data by month and we can still drill down and see daily detail underneath. Of course, the problem with the daily detail in this example is that the dates that appear to be showing are actually month references. Scrolling up, we see, for example, that drilling into the January 09 data, which is intended to be January 2009, all of the dates appear to be January the 9th. Again, fortunately, there's a pretty easy solution to this. Expand the data so that all detail is visible. Next, select the data in the date column, in this case column A, and change the format back to the traditional date format, that is a traditional month, day, year format. Now what we find is that we still see subtotals at the monthly level, but when we drill in, we get daily data visible on the screen exactly the results that we wanted. By simply changing the format of the date data, we are able to trick Excel into summing the data by month. Then, changing the format back to the original format allows us to see not only the monthly sums, but also the daily detail. Knowing this simple but highly effective trick greatly extends the functionality of one of Excel's best commands, data subtotal. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.